When I was 12 years old, my father introduced me to cocaine. By prom night, I was smoking crack. For 22 years thereafter, drugs ruled my life. Prisons, treatment centers, homelessness, near-death experiences. None of those crises could alter my admiration for cocaine. My soul became numb to crime, and no human force could turn my love for the streets. Then not so long ago, I was sentenced to three and a half years in prison. I found myself alone in a cell that night. By dusk, the magnitude of my fate swept over me like a typhoon. Every thought in my mind conceded that I, Sean Du Bois Day, had become the most grotesque of failures to have ever walked this earth. A demonic voice suggested that I kill myself that I run with all my might and ram the top of my head into the brick wall. I mean, I wasn't anything but a crackhead anyway. No skills, no education. My own kids despised me. I had broken every heart I'd come into contact with and burnt every bridge that I'd ever crossed. Do it, the voice said. Just get it over with. I fell to the floor and began to weep. As the seconds crawled along, that voice reminded me of my past transgressions, one by one, as if I were being judged on Judgment Day. By twilight, I was broken. The grimness of what I had become was too overwhelming. It didn't take long for me to decide that ramming the top of my head against that wall was the best idea I had come up with in a long, long time. I stood up in tearful silence and stumbled over to the mirror where I looked at myself for what I built up in me to be the very last time. I stared into a pair of eyes I didn't recognize. Eyes that wore the unflinching gaze of a man who had lost all hope. I said goodbye to the face in the mirror, turned, staggered over to the furthest corner of the room, crouched down in a runner's stance and prepared myself for the finality of death. That's when a light shined on me. There is more. There is a hope you've never dreamed of hoping for in Jesus.